Now we're going to multiply using scientific notation. Some of you would put this into the calculator, and that would be fine. Is this part of the first Yeah, this is part of the review. So, you guys remember how to do this one? We can do a freehand. I mean, we'll still use the calculator to do the calculations, but... So let's, let's look. If you put this in directly in the calculator, we'll, we'll show you what the answer may look like. So on this one, we don't really need those parentheses, so we got 1.7 times 10 to the power of 12 times 4 to the power of 1 times 10 to the power of 7. So no more parentheses. It's just straight multiplication, which means we can use the commutative property to move stuff close to each other, like 1.7 and the 4.1. And then we can multiply all that by 10 to the power of 12 times 10 to the power of 7. And 1.7 times 4.1, this is what I got. And the 10s, we have the same basis, so this is really 10 to the power of 12 plus 7, which would be 10 to the power of 19, and that would be good. Some of your calculators will not show you this full number because of all the stinking zeros. So if you plug it in, you may get something that looks like this. And we kind of covered this. It just may just give you an E and then a 19. Some of your calculators would show you 6.97. And then on the side, it would show a tiny 10 to the power of 19, like this, which is scientific notation. This one's in scientific notation for the calculator, so it's called E notation. Uh, it means the same thing. Okay. But this, this is our final answer. So in the boxes, we would put 6.97 and to the power of 19.